Welcome to Mock Rockets. Legos rock. And so do rockets. Okay, today I want to share with you all our STS-1 mock. So this is uh, the space shuttle, but you'll notice that it has a white fuel tank. And the fuel tank was painted white on the very first two space shuttle launches in the early 1980s, STS-1 and STS-2. And we based our design on re the really good photos that we could find for STS-1. It's very much like the Expedition Shuttle set, but the change from the dark orange tank to the white saves hundreds of dollars in the cost of the parts. So that's why we decided to do it this way. We really liked the Expedition Shuttle design, but it was much too expensive. Okay, let me walk you through some of the interesting features and changes that we've made from the Expedition Shuttle set to our mock. So the first and of course most obvious is the color of the tank, which as I mentioned we've done for cost reasons. The second thing that we've done is redesigned the solid rocket boosters uh, quite a bit. You'll notice a lot more color and stuff, and we use this kind of tank thing on the bottom uh, with another cone, and, and some of this is like upside down and, and flipped around. The other thing is these cone pieces at the top, uh, you know, they're a little expensive um, and they're a little bit rare, but they're not too bad compared to the cost of the white pieces on the tank. So for the tank, uh, we we basically kept it as is, except we're using white rather than that dark orange. And this saved a huge amount on costs. Even when you factor in the small increase in price due to like, a couple of like these Technic pieces and some other things. We've also adjusted the bottom, you can see, to make it have that nice sort of round that you would have. The standard issue set just has a flat bottom. Now let's talk about the orbiter itself. Now on STS-1 and Columbia, in fact, uh, the orbiter kind of had this, the, the black part of the orbiter went down much further before the color changed um, to white. And the other thing we've done is we've redesigned the tail section. You can see it kind of has that split elevator uh, piece uh, at the back that, that's sort of famous from a lot of photos of shuttle landings and so forth. Uh, we've, we've really increased the roominess of the cockpit. Uh, you can see and we put two of the uh, little micro fig guys that come from the uh, from the Apollo 11, uh, from the Saturn V uh, set uh, in there. Tons of space, we've, so we've redesigned the cockpit a lot. Now other uh, people I've seen have used that sort of uh, special sort of like, very curvy uh, formed piece for the cockpit area, which I didn't like. I really like the build on this Expedition Shuttle. I feel like uh, the LEGO designers did a really good job at designing it just kind of out of slopes and bricks and things. So I stuck with that um, for it. A huge major change is you'll notice there are no giant holes in the heat shield anymore. We just made it all flat and for landing gear you just stick it on. Um, and I don't know, we tried a lot of different things with the landing gear um, but none of them work very well and at the end of the day it's not a big deal. There's a lot of sets that you just kind of have to clip something on at the end and you can see that this will give the nice kind of nose down uh, angle that's sort of famous in a lot of the photos. And finally, we've completely redesigned the shuttle bay here to take advantage of these bigger um, kind of curved uh, pieces. And we've redesigned the Canada arm uh, to be its correct color, which is white uh, rather than black for the most part. The uh, Technic pins in there, of course, are still black. So it's a huge roomy payload bay. And in a second, I'll show you the satellite that we've decided uh, to create and put in there. Okay, so this is kind of the big satellite that we're able to fit into that big payload bay on the shuttle orbiter. And you can see it's roughly designed to sort of look like the Hubble Space Telescope, but um, it, it's just any sort of um, optical uh, satellite uh, that, that one could put um, in, in orbit. Okay, so here's the full mock. You can see we added nice stickers here. Uh, the USA sticker on the side, the American flag, and then it says Columbia, it has the NASA worm logo here, and then United States. And just as a point of reference for you know how large uh, this thing is, let me also hold up uh, the Saturn V so you get a kind of a good view. So side by side, um, 
that's, that's about the size of it. Now this is not quite to 1 to 110 scale, it's more like 1 to 125 or so. Um, but again, we just stuck with whatever the Expedition Shuttle had. It worked, it looks great, so that's what we're sticking with. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check us out on uh, Twitter, our website, mockrockets.com, and check out some of our uh, other instructions available at Rebrickable, of course. Thank you.